what's up what's up what's up you already know this is peach and today we're making some banana pudding the way my granddaddy taught me how to make it is so easy and so bomb let's go okay guys so all you're gonna need for your banana pudding is a bowl and a whisk i'm being real you know real fabulous today some people use a cake mixer but it's not necessary a whisk is just fine you're also gonna need some banana cream banana pudding these are the bigger ones the size on here is 5.1 ounce broadcast to pick up baby all you're gonna need to make this banana pudding is some banana cream pudding banana cream not regular banana get banana cream this is very important i have the 5.1 ounces which are the bigger ones and then we're gonna use some cookies i got two boxes of cookies we may only use just one but typically i use like one and a half now we have some bananas now i have to hurry up and use these bananas because they were starting to go bad i actually hid them from the kids because i wanted to make sure i got to make this banana pudding they always eat all my bananas so yeah we're gonna use those next we have our whole milk i prefer to use whole milk when it comes to making banana pudding not low fat milk whole milk and then we have our measuring cups. We got my nice glass bowl with my metal whisk because we finna be bougie up in this joint day. Y'all ready? Okay, guys. So the first thing we're gonna do is open our banana pudding mix. We're gonna use three cups for each box. So we're gonna use six cups of milk. Six cups of milk. And it comes in a package like this. We just take it. Move our whisk. And we just dump it in. Dump it on in. Yep, yep, yep. Second box, box number two. Also 5.1 ounces. Dump that bad boy in. Like so. My granddaddy taught me this. My granddaddy made the best banana pudding. So I think, we used to think my grandma's banana pudding was big, like the bomb, diggity.com. I did not put on a bra today, y'all. I'm home. I just literally took my bra off when I came in the house. So sorry for the sad bags. I breastfed five babies. Um, anyways, my measuring cup goes up to four cups. So we're going to put four and then we're going to do two. Now take your milk. My grandfather makes the best banana pudding. It's better than my grandma's. They had like a banana pudding cook-off. And my granddaddy won. I was like, this is the best banana pudding ever. And I always wanted him to make me more, make me more. And finally, one day, he was like, you getting on my nerves. He was like, you getting on my nerves. You keep asking me to make you some banana pudding. And you don't want to pay me for making it. So, I'm going to give you my recipe. He said, the trick is, see, your grandma... My grandma, she buy banana. She just buy banana jello. My grandfather buy banana cream. He was like, that's the trick. You ain't got to add no whipped cream and all that other nonsense. Buy banana cream. And then, you know, some people bake their banana pudding. Like, my baby father, his grandmother, she like old school banana pudding. Bake it and all that. He like, how y'all make banana pudding and don't bake it? That's going to be nasty. That's going to be nasty, right? I'm just beating it. Like, just mixing it up. Some people use their cake mixer but we use an old school wish shot um yeah so he was like that's gonna be nasty that's gonna be nasty and then he tried it and he fell in love child it's the bomb diggity.com let me show you how i'm mixing it so y'all can see banana pudding gonna be so good see right now it's not thick or anything it just look like just juice right like girl what is this that's how i was the first time i made it i was like what is this i'm doing it all wrong ain't nothing happening it didn't transform into nothing there's nothing going on here nothing now if you read the back of the package it tells you on the biggity back it says beat the pudding mix with a whisk for two minutes pudding will be soft set in five minutes okay so don't panic and yes you could use soy milk but Y'all know I'm not a healthy person. If you're trying to be healthy, don't come here. Because we're going to be unhealthy over here. We're just going to beat it with our whisk like so. And I bought this whisk, this metal whisk, 
from Walmart for three dollars. For those of you who may want to know, where do you got that from? Walmart. And my metal bowls come from Publix. I actually got them when they were on BOGO. I had thought this was a set my mom done bought me, but I bought these myself. They were $14.99, buy one, get one free. So I got two. You can see like the pudding already starting to get thick. See that? Oh. I'm just gonna beat it for a little bit longer. Beat it. Just beat it. Uh, uh. Beat, beat, but beat, but beat, beat, but beat, but beat, beat, but beat, but uh, beat it out the frame like a hurricane, like a hurricane. Putting so good, dry that man insane. Like a beat, beat, but beat. You see how it ain't, how it ain't like as watery, how my thing not going as smoothly. It's because that pudding is starting to set, honey. This is one of the easiest things you can make, and your man gonna love it, honey. And your man gonna wanna come home and eat your pudding. <laughs> He gonna wanna come and eat your foot in. That was a good one, right, babe? You wanna come home and eat my foot in? Yeah, your man gonna wanna come home and eat your foot in. Literally, your real foot in. Stop being nasty. Your real now, What we do is we just let that foot in just sit right there. And while that's doing that, I'm gonna start my lasagna, aka laying my cookies, because I like my cookies laid like a lasagna. Let's go. All right, guys, I just opened up a cookie to give to baby. So he's sitting right here eating cookies because he's just so aggy. He really want to cook. He's sitting here with a spatula in his hand. So over here is our pudding. Y'all see how thick it is now? It's all nice and thick. Nice and thick. See how easy that was? We're going to let that still sit. And we're going to start this. I call it a lasagna, but we're going to start um, doing our pudding stuff. So, there's more than one way to do things. I prefer to have a pan like this. I'm being bougie, but typically... Oh, hold on, buddy. Hold on. Come on, baby. Typically, I use a aluminum pan from Dollar Tree, but y'all know I'm big time now. My mama bought me these glass things, and I bought these glass bowls, so we big time. We Hollywood. We Hollywood over here. So, what we're going to do is we're going to use this pan to show you how I like to do mine in a pan. And then over here, we'll do a bowl for those of you who like, I like to put my pudding in the bowl. Guess what? We gonna do both. Right, guys, Let's so go. what you do is you just get your cookies, which these are already open because I just gave baby one. Take your cookies and you're gonna put them in like a lasagna. Now, I'm kinda anal, so I like my cookies facing upright. That's just me. And then I like my cookies soggy. I like to put my cookies at the bottom like you would do your lasagna noodles. It's like the base, like if you were making a lasagna. Babe looking at me like I'm crazy. <laughs> what, you don't do yours like this? Well, you don't make banana pudding. You eat it and you be liking it. You like my pudding, babe? You like my pudding? Tell the people. Babe, her pudding's so good. That's why I've been with her for 15 years. It ain't too good, you ain't married me yet. It ain't too good. Okay, we're gonna attempt to put baby down so I could cut up these bananas, but if baby cry, I don't know how this gonna go. <laughs> Be nice, baby. All right, so now we got my pudding. We just gonna do a little layer of pudding. Not too much, don't pour it all. Now why that gonna mess up on me? Babe, why that wanna mess up on me? Hold on, buddy. Cause I like my stuff to eat. Ooh, it's bothering my spirit. Okay, I'm picking you up, buddy. Picking you up. Anyways, you wanna put your, um, putting down i ain't want mine to splatter like that but it did so it's just gonna be a it, it is what it is situation i'm holding my baby on my hip if you're like girl now why is she doing that like that because i had to pick baby up i do not like to let my kids cry i can't stand people like that's they spoil they not spoil you they parent pick that baby up don't let that baby cry Especially if you're trying to do something. All right, so that's my little first layer. Now we're gonna add our bananas. So I'm just taking a banana. And you cut your banana. You can pre-cut them if you want, but we don't. Cut your banana right on top of the plate. And I just wash my hands. I rinse my hand off. I had some pudding on the side. You want some banana, baby? Now what you're gonna do now is just cut it. Cut your banana and just layer it. Comment down below if you make your pudding like this. Or if you think I'm crazy. I like thin layers of bananas. Some people like like those big old thick cuts. That's the part of it being your kitchen. That's the best part of having your own house and your own kitchen. You get to do your stuff however you like. If you don't like the way I do what I do over here with this, that's fine. Do it your own way. 
But if you are liking this, you know, go ahead and hit a likey like. Hit a likey like. Hit a likey like for your girl. This is one of the easiest snacks you can make for yourself. Like easiest desserts. Baby got him a piece of banana. Oh, he threw it down. And everybody different. I got my sister, she like banana pudding with no bananas. Who does that? How you like banana pudding with no bananas? She just want the pudding mix and cookies. And then I got an aunt. Why is you doing that, baby? She like banana pudding, but she don't want the um cookies. She just want pudding and bananas. Like the cookies is the best part. When the cookies get all wet and soggy, baby just keep grabbing slices of the bananas out my hand. Lord Jesus. Can you get down and eat your banana? All right, good job. Let's see how long that lasts. I'm gonna put a little bit more banana because I really like banana. All my kids do. But you breathing hard. Are you breathing so hard? I smell good or something. My pudding smell good. You trying to inhale all this flavor? Daddy trying to inhale all this flavor. I do not like how thick I cut that last little piece. Oh, and I'm still just cutting it as I go. But I prefer them like real thin like that. All right, so that's good. Now what we gonna do is do another layer of cookies. Hold on, busy baby. Okay, here, here, here you go, buddy. Here you go. You don't gotta be like that. Here go, cookie. Here you go. Here's a cookie for baby. Here's a cookie for baby. And then we just doing the same thing. Look how big this cookie is. Now that was just odd. That's just the odd cookie. Oh my God, baby want me to pick him up again. I'm trying not to put so many cookies this time because they just splashed up on the side, honey. Got me looking all crazy on YouTube. Like, girl, you don't be making banana pudding. Quit lying to the people. No, I really do be making banana pudding and it be the bomb ziggity doll. Okay? It's the bomb. All right, now we're going to do another layer of pudding, which I just got some on my hand. Don't dump that pudding right on them cookies. I don't know why I stay making up me a little jingle. A little jingle. Y'all, back in the day, I wanted to be a rapper. Well, really, what had happened was I really wanted to be a singer. But then I realized I couldn't sing. And this was like before auto-tunes. I realized I couldn't sing. Come here, buddy. Come on. Come on. I do not like all that holly. Um, but yeah, before auto tunes, I wanted to be a singer, and then I realized that I couldn't sing. So what I did was I became a rapper. Pete Mike, y'all can look me up on YouTube. <laughs> y'all can look me up on YouTube. From back in the day when I used to rap, I had a YouTube, and I used to drop my little music on it or whatever. I dropped a couple songs. I got like three old YouTube channels that I always quit, but. I had got a song and it got a little buzz in the city, right? In the strip club. And then what had happened was, I just got the paper towel to wipe my, my hands. What had happened was, I started popping out more babies and I had a successful business and I was just like, forget it, I'm not gonna rap. I felt like I had got too old, I had too many kids and I was too fat to continue my rap dreams. And I'm still cutting the banana as I go. Now baby hitting the phone with his spatula. Baby want to cook. All my kids like cooking. I swear to God. But, um, yeah, so that happened. But now I kind of want to rap again. I want to start back rapping. I'm trying to show y'all, baby. Come over where my banana at. Babe, show them me cutting up on the banana. Show them that. Show them that, babe. My baby want to eat a banana. Oh, Lord. Look at baby. All right. Baby took <laughs> baby took that banana. Okay, baby. Now you got your banana. Come sit back down. Eat your banana. You can't have everything in the world. You can't have me hold you and take my whole half of a banana. So that's what we got left with that one. I'm going to cut off this black part. I don't like that part of bananas when they get like that. Some people like it. They're like, it'd be extra sweet. No, it'd be extra soggy. And I don't like soggy bananas. Now, I do like soggy waffles, but y'all know that already. Make it tell you. Anywho, y'all think I'm too old to be a rapper and too fat? Well, you can't turn the water off. It's looking like right now. 
we have some more pudding, which I'm going to put in a smaller glass bowl. Just for those of you who like, oh, I like my pudding in the bowl. I don't never put my pudding in no bowl. So we don't even know how that's going to come out. It might be a disaster, but let me finish this. Yes. See how he be calling me? Woo. I was trying to show you I was breaking off a banana, but baby, why are you calling me so loud, buddy? Okay, buddy. He want me to pick him back up. Oh, little baby. Yes, baby. Man. I done dropped the banana. I dropped the banana, babe. Let me stop being. Let me stop talking to this man about bananas. And cutting up on bananas and stuff. You know what happens when she cuts up on a banana. She gets pregnant. We don't need no more babies out of red life. No more babies. Daddy's gonna pick up baby now. Okay, thank you, Daddy. Thank you. Let's see how long this lasts, cause he like me more than Daddy. Sometimes he like his Daddy though, but sometimes he like me more. All right, so we had that top layer. I'm gonna put some more pudding on this, on the top, and then I'm gonna add my cookies. But like I said, I like a lot of bananas. If you don't like bananas, you know, it's your kitchen, it's your house. You do whatever you want to. Over there, you can go ahead and only do, you know, pudding with no bananas and cookies. You could go do bananas and pudding, and that's it. That's up to you. It's your house. I might only have to do one. <laughs> that's like, oh uh, yeah, you is. You're not gonna be able to put that in the um in another container. So yeah, that top layer, I come. I come to the top layer. Hold on, baby. Baby, that's not nice. What you over here doing? Baby, what you doing is not kind. You is not being kind and polite. And I just add more pudding because now I'm going to put my cookies on top. All right, come on. I'm sorry. Daddy, sorry. Show baby. Show the people to cry, baby. When you start crying. There go baby. Say hi. Oh, you want to tie your hair? You don't want nobody to see you being a crybaby. Okay, but they hear you. They hear you being a crybaby. All right, guys. So this is what my banana pudding look like. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put now he's gonna banana. Lord Jesus. Now we um just put our cookies on top. I love cookies. I try to not put no broke cookies on top because you know you want it to look pretty. You said that's a lot. So you don't think I need to make the second? Second little batch. Second batch. Like for the bowl, mm -hmm. just to show them how I look in the bowl. And they're like, no, ain't nobody gonna eat all that pudding but me. They eat my my kids eat banana pudding, but I love. Don't be acting like my banana pudding give people diarrhea. Don't do that. Ain't nobody around here lactose intolerant but you. Okay. Yeah, if you lactose intolerant, you might not want to make this, or you might want to do it with the soy milk. So that's what we doing. And yes, I am putting my cookies on my counter because my counter clean. I wipe my counter down with bleach and it's my house. Health department. A lot of y'all think y'all work for the health department. Y'all think that this is McDonald's and y'all think that y'all the United States health department. This is YouTube. This is my kitchen. And this is my room. Okay. Remember that and you'll get further in life, honey. Everybody's still Sweet. sleeping. Everybody's so well, tired. Yeah, I went back to sleep. You didn't have that um, breakfast. You want, you want some? some breakfast, buddy? Daddy got eggs and grits and sausage. Nice. Oh, you get the sausage? It's eggs and grits. I'm gorgeous. Man, hold the camera steady. Like, to show the whole. All right, y'all. So, this is what my banana pudding looks like. And you have to add no whipped cream. If you don't like all that craziness with the whipped cream and all that stuff, I did not add any of that. Go to your bathroom. It is first. so easy. This takes less than now my kids waking up. This takes less than ten minutes to make. Shoot, probably less than five. It's just that I'm holding the baby and the camera and all this other other stuff going on. You sure I shouldn't make some in the bowl? So daddy said don't make none in the bowl. So with this little bit of pudding I got left over, I am. I got a little bowl, babe. You just don't want to hold a camera for me. Quit being the hater. Oh, 
Hey, you want to put it at? You a hater. Hold the bow. Look. Hold the camera up so they can see the bow. Look. See how little this bow is while he hating on me? Listen. I done elevated in life, y'all. I ain't getting no money from YouTube yet. For those who like, oh, peach ball. And somebody gonna write that, oh, peach ball. And now she getting a YouTube check. I have not gotten a YouTube check yet. Okay. I'm just investing in myself. Like, okay, but I'm still not buying a new pot set yet. Nuh-uh. I'm not, I'm not ready yet for that. Not ready. Because I like nice pot. So we opening that second bag of cookies. Yes, buddy. We're going to do the same thing. We're going to add a couple cookies at the bottom, which, in this bowl, you can't put that many cookies. What's up? I'm going to put four. Four? No, it could be bad. Four going to be bad? Mm -hmm. Max say four is bad, and they sliding just like they did at the bottom of the other one. See, in my pan, they don't be sliding like that. All right, you can get out of here. Next, we're going to cut up our banana. Where's my knife? I don't know what I can do with my butter knife. Pretty to me. And I'm just going to break these cookies up. I could have took a can and just beating this with my big old fist. Y'all see how hard I'm hitting this. I ain't even hitting it hard. I'm hitting it softly and they breaking up. That should let you know. Don't try me. I told y'all I was the queen of tetherball. Baby, I hit hard. Hit real hard. Alright guys, so now what we're going to do is we're just going to take our crumbs and sprinkle them in here. You can do this if you want to. I just thought it looked boring. I was trying to make it look fancy. Now I'm like, oh, that kind of looks ugly. They kind of don't look appeasing. I'm going to have to put some old pudding on the top. To make it look, but I ain't got no more pudding. Put some drizzles of pudding on top. I was trying to be fancy on YouTube, and I'm like, mm, I don't like how that look. Oh no, oh no, shake those cookies off. Now maybe if I would have did that prior, it would have been a my cookie dirty. My cookie's not dirty. That is mo cookie. They look dirty. Uh, Max is to say my cookie crumbs look dirty. Look, now we're just shaking that off. See? Now it look more appeasing to the eye. Appealing to the eye. It look more desirable. Would you eat that? Babe, would you eat this pudding? Okay, guys. I'm done with this. Hold on, y'all. I'm going to give y'all like an overview of my pudding and stuff and talk about it. One moment. One moment. <laughs> Aftermath, these are my puddings. So we have our pudding that is in the tray. Look at the side of the tray. Babe, focus, babe. The whole side of the tray, babe. So that's how it looks on the side. Mm -hmm. It's looking out delicious. Like, yes, I would eat that. But listen, with my pudding, I got some pudding underneath here. I'm wiping it off. With my pudding, I don't eat it until it's cold because I like when those cookies get soggy. I like soggy cookies, okay? It tastes just way better. Um, also, my bowl of pudding. See, the bowl of pudding didn't, it don't got the cookies really showing on the sides. Like how you see on TV, how I be showing the cookies on the side and looking all the peas. And I tried to make it look good for y'all. But I normally don't make my pudding in the bowl. We also going to just cover these, let them go in the refrigerator for about at least, I'll say at least an hour. I'm going to leave it in there. Then it'll be cold. And when I cut it, it's going to, the cookies going to be soggy and it's going to come out like a piece of cake. Right, babe? You want some? Okay, he don't want none. But y'all know what to do. Hold on. All right, guys. If you like this video, you know what to do. You know what to do. Go ahead and hit a like. He like. Hit a like. He like. Hit a like. He like. For your girl. Thanks for watching.